Hey guys, it's Sam here. I'm a technical product specialist here at Zetafir, the cloud solutions provider for MSPs. So today you're watching the fifth video in the series of Ninja RMM how-to videos, and we're going to be covering remote control. So we're going to be looking at how to set up your TeamViewer integration within Ninja RMM. We're going to be looking at how to remote connect to devices through Ninja RMM, and also how to view the TeamViewer logs within the reporting feature. So guys, we're back in the dashboard on Ninja RMM. So this is the first page that you come to when you log on to your Ninja console. Now to access the TeamViewer integration setup, we need to go ahead on the left and click configuration, then integrations, then TeamViewer. So we click setup. Now you can see here, we've got a pop-up box with an API key token request um, and some other settings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my TeamViewer management console so that we can create this API key token. So when you're in your TeamViewer management console, we need to go over here to the user access and click edit profile. If you click on apps, you can see here, we've got a create script token. So let's click that. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this Ninja API. Now it's important guys that you give yourself access to the full privilege level for this to work. If you don't, it won't quite work for you. Let's click save. So now we've been generated a token. So we need to copy that and go back into Ninja and paste. Now it's also important that we check to see if there are any spaces in this key code. And there was in this instance, if there's a space there, it won't work for you. So just double check that there's no space on your API token and let's click save. So you can see here, the team viewer integration has been set up within Ninja. Um, it's really straightforward. It literally takes a minute. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can set our settings for the team viewer. So we're gonna go to organizations, select an organization, and you can see here, we've now got team viewer. To turn team viewer on for this organization, we just click managed and then click save and come out of there. So that's as simple as that. I can show you the organization um, so that you can see that we've got team viewer on here. So if we go into settings, you can see that we've now got team viewer on here. So that's awesome. Um, team viewer is enabled um, and we've got the configuration on here. You've also got some settings on here as well. So you can see the organization settings. Um, if you leave it set to organization, because that's the default, um, it's generally better for you guys. So, um, oops. So in a device, um, to connect to a device via a TeamViewer connection, you can see up here next to the device name, we now have the TeamViewer logo. If we click on the TeamViewer logo, um, we need to sync this first. So basically to establish a connection, once the TeamViewer has been synced, you click on that logo and it will start the connection immediately. Um, the TeamViewer integration within Ninja is really awesome. So it enables you as an MSP to access your customer's machines at the click of a button as soon as possible. So if they've got any issues, you can remote in there and you can deal with those issues for them. So I want to show you the reporting feature um, so you can see the TeamViewer logs in reports now. So you can see in the reporting section here, guys, we've got a team viewer section. So when you've generated a report, um, you will end up with a log of team viewer sessions. So you'll get the um, user, the machine that's been accessed by the user, and then you'll have a start time and date and an end time and date and a duration of the call. This is a really awesome feature within Ninja RMM. Um, it shows really well within the reports. So, that was the video for remote control. Thanks very much for watching guys. Now I'm sure you've probably got some questions or some thoughts on the video. Feel free to get in touch with us. So um, if you've got any questions on TeamViewer or Ninja or the TeamViewer integration with Ninja or any of our other products, feel free to contact me on the details on the screen right now. Also, as an MSP, it will benefit you massively if you join our MSP partner program. So here at Zsphere, we've established an MSP partner program, which gives you lots of benefits. So you can have additional discounts on top of the MSP discounts. 
You can have extended trial products. You can have VIP event invites, a quarterly subscription to our Zedsphere magazine, Z. It's got lots of tips and hints in there and much, much more. It takes 20 seconds to sign up. So head to zsphere.com right now and check that out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. That was the fifth video in the series of the Ninja RMO how-to videos, and we covered remote control.